<laughs> What's up guys, welcome to another episode. I've had a few requests asking if I could show how to replace spark plugs on a Nissan Maxima. So that's what we'll be doing today. Uh, I'll start with the left side or the back side of the motor. That's the side that reaches uh, the uh, firewall of the end of the car. Uh, so we'll start with the back side of the motor. I'll show you how to get access to the coil pack, remove the coil pack, what tools you need to remove the spark plug, and, uh, and that's really about it. So I'll show you just one plug, how to get to it and toward the back of the motor. Because once you know how to get to one, you'll be able to get to all three in the back. Uh, once we finish with that, I'll show you how to get to the right side or the front of the motor. That's the part of the motor uh, toward the radiator. And again, I'll show you how to remove the coil pack, remove one plug. And again, once you know how to remove one plug, you can remove the, the three front spark plugs. Uh, so that being said, let's go ahead and let's begin. All right, guys, now this is a pretty simple job. You don't need a lot of tools to do it, which is nice. Number one, we'll be using a quarter inch size ratchet with an eight millimeter socket. You also need a 3 h drive ratchet with an extension and also a spark plug removal socket. This is a 5 8 of an inch or 16 millimeter uh, size socket. And the whole point behind it, if you take a look on the inside, there's a rubber housing and it's also magnetic. The whole point behind it is when the tool is placed over the spark plug, it really grips onto it very tightly so you have no problem removing the spark plug from the vehicle. the spark plugs are in two separate locations you have three in the front this is your right bank this is toward the front of the vehicle so three live underneath this cover we'll remove this uh, in a minute or so and then in the back we have the left bank you have one two and there's a third one right back here uh, just so you guys have a better view what I'll do is I'm going to disconnect this O2 connector or connection and this is where our first uh, spark plug lives this is the connection right here. What you want to do is press down until it clicks. You'll hear a click. You hear that? So push down until it clicks and then pull on the body like so. Don't pull it on the wires. You know, this, in this case, this car is 16 years old. So you don't want to pull from the wires, take it any chances of uh, fraying or breaking one of these wires. Now let me turn on a light here. There we go. It's held on by two 8 millimeter bolts. You have one right here, and there's another one. Let's see if I can get it on camera. There's another one right there. So you have to remove these two 8 millimeter bolts. Now your spark plug lives way down there. There you go. So that's where it lives. So that's why you need an extension for this next step. So now I'm going to use the 3 8 drive ratchet, the extension, and then the spark plug adapter. And there you go, there's your old spark plug. Then once you're ready to install the new spark plug, just make sure it has anti-seize compound on the threads. And if it does not, then ask your auto part supplier to, uh, to give you a little packet. Some spark plugs will have the anti-seize compound on the threads. So just make sure you put some anti-seize compound on the threads, and then you can reinstall it into the vehicle. And just in case you're wondering, Nissan recommends a platinum spark plug, at least for this vehicle. This is a 1997. 
so in 97 they, they, the manual states for a platinum uh, spark plug. And then whenever you put these spark plugs back in, make sure you hand tighten them. Don't use a air tool of any means. Really the manual only calls for 22 foot pounds. So not very tight, just give it a good tug and uh, you'll be good to go. And then just reinstall your connector. So now you know how to go ahead and get access to the spark plug. Uh, so the second one right here, you'll have no problem getting to. Your third one, which lies right there, uh, let me show you how you can get to that. You need to remove the purge volume control valve. That's this big metal body. Uh, essentially there's two bolts, we can just lift it up and we'll have clear access to the plug. Now these two back screws are 12 millimeter. And then once you loosen and remove those two bolts there, you can go ahead and lift up the control valve lightly, just lightly do it, and you'll have clear access now to your spark plug. All right guys, so that's how you go ahead and get clear access to the back or the left side of the motor. Again, that's toward the firewall. Now for the front or the right side of the motor, you have this cover. And to, to remove this cover, there are four Allen bolts. And the size of the Allen bolts are 5 30 seconds. Okay, so you need 5 30 seconds Allen key and you'll be able to remove all four bolts. Now once you remove those four Allen bolts, as you can see, it hits the sensor up here. This is your pressure, uh, your absolute pressure sensor, and it's held on to this duct with one 10 millimeter bolt. So go ahead and remove this bolt right here. And just like what we did with the back side of the motor, I'll show you how to remove just one spark plug in the front, and then it's really self-explanatory. Now we can remove the coil pack.
and that's it guys and again make sure you start by hand tightening the plug uh, don't use the rat just yet once you can't turn the spark plug anymore with your hand go ahead attach your ratchet and tighten it down again don't use an air ratchet uh, ha basic hand tools is all that you need and uh, you'll be in good shape And then of course as a last step just start the car and make sure everything is in good shape.